the topic is why you need to think outside the box particularly in the post pandemic scenario which is coming through and what are the innovative practices and unique initiatives and uh, what all can be done in education in the pedagogy and pedagogy whatsoever you would like to talk about john renfort thank you <clears throat> i'd like to share a screen if i may sure please go ahead so um tell you a little bit about myself um i've been involved in innovation for many years helping um, companies predominantly uh, around the world including shell um and i've sort of fell into education because i realized that actually the skills that we 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 learned with shell for example with uh, developing innovative practices could be brought into the school system so i want that mission to bring it into secondary school primary schools bringing it generally into education that's a bit of my background um one of my students in fact um taught some of some of these techniques uh in a rem remote village in india so uh, i'm very proud of that and the and i'm very proud that my student has actually um encouraged this process into remote villages um, according to the World Economic Forum, you probably already know this, the analytical thinking, innovation, learning and creativity are top of the, the future skills that we all need. <clears throat> so this may be a bit mind-blowing, but actually it's meant to be. We're bringing art and creativity and science together. And this is what we did with Shell, for example, and many other corporations I worked with. I realized that some the significance of bringing if you like art back into um you know science could actually help us to innovate so we're on this journey of actually bringing um creative processes which we we've, we've used in say in remote villages in India um but bringing really the the benefit of bringing science and art together so this is um <clears throat> a typical uh, workshop um, where we could actually explore uh, visualization as well as tactile uh, inspiration as well. So um, this is a quote from uh, Dr. Alan Samuel, uh, research and technology part of Shell. Um, and he described it as the creative process as genius because it exposes unseen connections. So most of my experience is in industry in fact, but I've sort of fell into education. I've run MBA courses um, on creativity and innovation and entrepreneurship. And I think entrepreneurship is quite crucial to developing the human spirit. So this is some uh, <coughs> work we're doing. We developed some software on neuroscience and uh, plasticity in which looking at ways that we can um, not reprogram because I think that's the wrong word, but certainly introduce new ideas into um, in people's minds. So, and we've combined this with personal growth and systems thinking, which we think is really going to herald the way to getting a much more holistic sense of the world that we're in. <clears throat> this is a uh, the top where pictures are. Uh, um, a workshop we did for the Charter Institute of Marketing. Um, and again, we're using creativity in a different way to provoke different parts of the mind to respond really well to learning. So I, I applaud the descriptions this morning about um, entrepreneurship and using creativity. And of course, music, um, all of these things um, can actually help um, people learn a lot more quickly because we're actually, um, instead of having, um, <clears throat> you know, sort of uh, a, a way of uh, boring slides, you, you have something hopefully that's interesting, stimulating. And this is what we're trying to do with education itself, introduce stimulating um, conversations based on the, the visualizations. Um, based on, on scientific theory, um, you might have heard of Gell Mann, he's a physicist, he invented the word, the word quarks, um, and he buys into this idea of complex adaptive systems, which is systems thinking, and bringing systems thinking 
together with art and, and science. This is a, an idea of the matrix, which is a, the, the image below. Again, we probably won't be able to describe it in this session, but uh, nevertheless, um, it's the, the same process is used for children as well as scientists. And this may be slightly provocative, but nevertheless, it makes the point. Um, this is the um, Pro Vice Chancellor of Liverpool University. Uh, we're doing a session. And really what we're trying to do is elevate the consciousness so it isn't just about the individual necessarily, but about a collective consciousness that can embrace a lot more of an holistic um, viewpoint of the world. And this has, if we can actually think in those terms, we can have we're far more capable of think as individuals as well. So the individual capabilities are raised as well as the actual collective. This is part of my dream to get a lot of this, um, this, these processes, the ones that we did in, in India, for example, are completely free and meant to be free for children. Um, and the idea really is that if we can introduce um, digital processes like this, and that maybe uh, each individual could have a diary of some kind, which would be a, a digital diary, they can embrace their own learning and well being. Well-being, as we know, is all really important throughout the world, but particularly for children, I think that the, the, they're perhaps more vulnerable, and I think we need to give them some sort of support, whether it's uh, mentoring through digital means or in actual in, in reality. So I'm hoping that makes makes some sense. It, trying to get the the bigger picture is uh, really trying to understand. You know how biomimicry, which is looking to nature to see how we can learn from nature, especially with innovation, because you know it's been around for was it so many billions of years. Nature, so how can we learn from nature instead of going on our own myopic way? Maybe we can learn from from nature itself. And we've done this, we've worked this with scientists and um, and different universities to try to see if we can see the whole picture rather than just um, be, be sidelined into a, the uh, this morning's conversations, which embrace this passion for changing our world because we, you know, we can't just uh, carry on using uh, limited resources. We need to be thinking about empowering our children. So because they're the next, they're the next generation. So I'm hoping that makes some sense <laughs> to everybody. Um, yes, yes, please go ahead, please go ahead. Yep, so in, in a sense, really, it's, uh, it's about really human evolution. Um, I think to some extent we are still ignorant about where we could go um, in terms of the next generation. And, and I think we need to have the, the, the resources and also the bigger picture in terms of um, how can we work together around the world to create a, a less fear with our children and uh, all of these things that I'm passionate about, but we have processes we've developed with scientists, which to me can be, obviously the terminology can change a little bit, but it's still applicable to children. You know, why shouldn't they understand the world as, as they see it? And uh, we, we should give them all the possible um motivations to help them to do that so that that's where i'm sort of coming from and i'm as i say i'm passionate about changing education itself and um hopefully jo join people like yourself who are passionate about the same things really we want our children to live in a world that that's um, going to be at least contribute to the happiness in some way or other okay. hope that makes some sense thank you <coughs> i must Please. I must appreciate your efforts and your stamina. Since morning, right from the inaugural 10 a.m., you have been constantly uh, participating and viewing and listening every every deliberation so actively. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy. I'm so happy, John. It's uh, really wonderful. Thank you very much for your valuable inputs we have taken. And I'm very happy that you support uh, art and creativity and entrepreneurship and the music also, neural sciences also, which you made a mention. 
and then combination of the creativity and analytical thinking and science, art and creativity all being taken together, how to minimize the fear of the children and how to children to take uh, their own ownership of their well-being. That is something very important. Mm -hmm. And of course, we have taken www.quantumleaps.world. I will go through that website later after this session. It's such a pleasure to have you since morning with us.